Hello my foodies, it's Cece here today. So I'm very excited to see all of you and more importantly, I'm excited to cook with you today. And we're gonna make something super delicious. It's gonna be stir-fried beef with scallions. It's a very, very delicious and yummy recipe that all of you and your family is going to fall in love with. <laughs> so first, we're gonna cut the scallions into one and a half inches. If the white part is a little too big, you can also cut those in halves. Now smash the garlic and slice the ginger. We're gonna cut the beef against the grain. In a large bowl, we're gonna add in the beef, add in the water and salt and give it a good mix. Soak the beef for about 10 minutes to remove the blood. The salt water will also help to tenderize the beef, make it really soft and nice. And now squeeze out all the water. Now we're gonna marinate the beef and we're gonna add in soy sauce, salt, white pepper, egg white cornstarch slurry and give it a good massage both the egg white and cornstarch will help to tenderize the beef as a tenderizing agent Chinese restaurants usually also add a pinch of baking soda in it but since New York strip is already very tender we will skip the baking soda let it marinate for about 10 minutes. To make the sauce in a bowl, we're gonna add in the soy sauce, dark soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, sugar, white pepper, sesame oil, Follow this step if you're using an iron wok and skip it if you're using a non-stick pan. So to get the wok ready and add a non-stick layer to it, first turn to high heat until it is smoking hot. Then add about half cup of vegetable oil in it. You can also use other types of high smoking point oil. And now we're gonna move it inside the pan and make sure that every part of the wok has a layer of oil on it. Pour out the oil. After the oil is completely cooled, you can put it in a jar and store it in a cool place. You can still use it this way next time. And now the wok officially has a non-stick coating to it. All right, so to stir fry the beef, first over high heat, heat the wok until smoking hot. Then we're gonna add about two tablespoons of extra light olive oil in it. You can also use other types of high smoking point oil. Heat it up until warm for about 15 seconds. Add in the beef and let it sear for about 30 seconds without touching it. So then it will have like a light crust on the bottom and it won't stick to the wok. But normally for the meat not to stick into the wok, we usually use hot wok and cool oil. But I used the hot wok and warm oil method today because if the temperature isn't high enough for beef, it will release its water content and make it tougher to chew. All right, so now we're gonna stir fry until medium well for about one minute. Take it out and set aside. In the same wok, we're gonna heat it up until smoking. Add about one tablespoon of extra light olive oil in it. We're gonna add in the ginger scallions, the white part, garlic, and stir fry until aromatic, about 30 seconds. And now we're gonna add in the beef slices, the sauce, 
and quickly stir fry until everything mixed well. And lastly, we're gonna add in the green part of the scallions. Uh huh, and once again, it triggers my smoke detector. <laughs> So I guess this is the thing with Chinese cooking. Every time I cook, I feel like this kitchen kind of just become really foggy somehow. <laughs> but the aroma is amazing. Let's give it a try. Beef and scallions. What a perfect combination. Mmm, looks so good. Okay. Mmm. Oh my god, so tender. Mmm. It's so delicious. It's very aromatic and the beef is super tender. Oh, so much better than any takeout places. Okay guys, so comment below and let me know if you have any questions, if you have any recipes that you want me to make. And also let me know what is your favorite Chinese stir-fry dish. Okay, so that's it for today. I'll see you again in the next episode next Friday. Remember to subscribe, thumbs up. Also share this really awesome videos with your friends and family. I like to also stay in touch on Facebook, Instagram, and of course YouTube. Alright, bye now!